as it were. Questions for Zaire? Zaire, we'll go front row right here to Dan to your right. Zaire, what can you say about the Tampa 2 so far and what you've taken away from it through the spring and, and how this defense has kind of recharged not only yourself but the rest of the defense going forward for Syracuse? I think as um, a competitor and also as someone who really loves the game, um, when you get an opportunity to learn um, not only like a new playbook but a new philosophy, um, it, like that helps broaden your understanding of the game and your appreciation for all the little nuances that makes the game great. Um, so I think as far as just learning a new defense, I think it's just been fun and exciting for all of us to go out, you know, and just learn new coverages, new different type of schemes, new different type of like I said, different type of little things that'll help make us great this fall. Zaire, right down the middle of the road to your left, orange shirt. At Z89 Sports, uh, being the anchor of a young defense, what is it like to mentor the younger guys and help them become better? Um, well, I would say it's not just myself, but it, it's a lot of us. Um, myself, Antoine Cordy, um, uh, Rodney Williams, Chris Slayton, guys who've been in the fire, guys who, who've played a lot of snaps. Uh, can help bring along a lot of uh, other young guys who may not have as much experience. So your question from right here at the podium. You were named captain your sophomore year. What did that mean to you to be named a captain at a relatively young age and young still relatively within the program? It meant the world to me, to be honest with you, to, um, to be selected by my coaches and my teammates, to you know, be given that type of honor and to be put in the forefront as, and consider one of the leaders of the team, um, it meant a lot to me. Um, I think I care a great deal about the program and a great deal about you know, where we are and, and about my teammates as well. So just to know that they you know, look at me in that type of sense meant a lot to me. So when you got that title, what did you do with it? I mean, honestly, I feel like you know, there's, just because you get a sin on your chest doesn't necessarily change who you're supposed to be. You know, I feel like if you were a leader already, um, you're al you were already doing certain type of things to try to help bring other people along, help try to lead by example. So, I mean, personally, I feel like once I was officially named the captain, I just, I mean, I stepped up my, my role a lot in the things that I were doing, I, you know, whether that's meetings more or, you know, talking a little bit more to certain type of players. But at the same time, I feel as though, you know, the fact that they already look at you as a leader means that you were doing the things that you're supposed to do. So you just keep doing that and just keep doing it to the best of your abilities. Thank you. Go back to Steve to your left first row. Hey, Zaire. I think toward the end of the spring, Dino said something along the lines of the success this fall will, will largely be dictated on what you guys do during the summer uh, as players. Um, what have summer workouts been like so far? And kind of touching on that leadership role, you know, how have you taken, you know, adapted that toward the summer workouts? It's been intense. Um, I think, you know, Coach E, our strength coach, he's definitely had, you know, his foot on the gas all summer, um, definitely pushing us to, you know, be the greatest we could be. Um, I think as far as players, um, whenever we were holding, whatever team, whether it's team workouts or any type of extra work, um, we make sure that we keep that intensity up at all times, um, even when it's going on week seven and it's kind of getting old, it's like the – you know, with just another day out there, we make sure we do different things to keep it fun and keep the intensity up. That way we can keep getting better. That we come to camp the best shape and the uh, best possible position we can be in. Swing to your right, first row. Zaire, when you look at coming in and obviously having a different coach at the time and seeing that sometimes there is turnover, the team held together and the guys held together, Antoine Cordy, you came back, a lot of the leadership. What can you say about how the locker room kind of just decided that you wanted to be a part of this journey and the belief in Dino Babers moving forward? Um, I think going through what we went through last year, specifically, you know, with our coaches uh, getting uh, let go, um, I think you really realize, like, how – who really has your back. You know, you really realize what family really means. You really realize what it means to actually come together as brothers and to really have each other's back and realize that – you know, when we were at the bottom of the bottom, who's really there for you? Um, so I think when we got to that point and when Coach Dino came in, we knew there was nowhere other place we could go but up. The only person that could help us get there is Coach Babers. So we had no choice but to follow behind him and give him every, give him every opportunity to lead us to victory. Keep your attention on that side. Second row. Bob Holiday, WRL.com. Is that your 
tremendous amount of returning offensive talent. I think about, you know, my estimate, 90% of the top offensive players are back. Um, in your division, maybe the two leading contenders for the Heisman Trophy. How good are the offensive players that you go against? And what's it like to be a defensive player in this league? It's fun. I mean, I enjoy it. I love playing against top competition. Uh, one of the reasons I chose to come to Syracuse to play in the ACC. Um, I think the teams, specifically in our division, are very, very talented. Um, it's, it's, it's fun every week to be able to go out and play against, like you say, guys as, you know, Heisman contenders and all these different type of watch lists and stuff. It, it makes playing the game that much more fun. Anything else for Zaire? Gentlemen, thank you. We'll excuse the student athletes to go to your next break.